We shall be talking about acetaminophen, metabolism, biochemistry, and toxicity in this lecture. Acetaminophen is used as an antipyretic, which means it's often used for pain control and also for fever, as an antipyretic for fever and also as an analgesia. The mechanism of action of the drug is actually to reversibly inhibit cyclooxygenase in the blood in the CNS, but it's often inactivated peripherally. Cyclooxygenase actually form prostaglandins and thromboxane A2, and these prostaglandins are stimulating pain in the body. While if you reversibly inhibit the cyclooxygenase pathway and the arachidonic acid pathway, in the brain, the patient does not feel pain. Although it doesn't work peripheral like other NSAIDs, it prevents the perception of pain by the patient. Now, the biochemistry of the metabolism of the drug starts with acetaminophen, and it often goes through two pathways. The first pathway is it goes through a conjugation pathway. When it's conjugated, it becomes a sulfate moiety, which is non-toxic to the body. It also goes through another conjugation and is formed into a glucuronide. Now, glucuronide it, moiety is also a non-toxic form of the drug. Acetaminophen it has to go through the liver through the cytochrome P450 pathway, especially the 2E1, to form N acetyl P benzoquinone amine, which is NAPQI. This is the toxic form of the drug, and in order for our body to actually metabolize it, it has to use glutathione, which is gonna help convert the drug into a cysteine or mecapto puric acid conjugate. Now this is non-toxic, it's broken down, it has no effect on the body. When patients take an overdose of acetaminophen, they form ex excess amount of NAPQI, which is now toxic to the liver. This causes hepatic necrosis. This hepatic necrosis will lead to elevated liver function tests which is the AST and the ALT, because the liver cells are dying. Well, in order to prevent overdose or toxicity of acetaminophen, the drug of choice to counterbalance this is known as N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine, which is also known as NAC. And assessive system's mechanism of action is to replete glutathione. So when it increases glutathione, it's going to help convert this NAPQI toxic metabolites from damaging the liver and form them into non-toxic form. So it's a very classic board question they like to test you on. NAC, which is n cystin, is the antidote for acetaminophen toxicity. And this is basically the biochemistry and the mechanism of action of acetaminophen. Thank you very much for watching. This is Dr. Adishina from ftplectures.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.